hi guys since yesterday i have been getting many mails asking when for a cylindrical rotor alternator if excitation is lost what will happen when excitation is lost will it become induction generator or not if it become induction generator why didn't you discuss in my videos you don't uh, find cylindrical rotor about cylindrical rotor and uh, in my like what do you say notebook also class notes also you don't find this particular point but uh, i have to clear that the one thing i'll tell you uh, so called self claimed famous faculties kind of uh, means famous teachers are uh, discussing something doesn't mean that it should be compulsorily 100% truth okay from my side i have to defend myself okay let me defend and i will show some technical references also it will not become induction generator it has to meet some certain conditions to become it like a induction generator when excitation is lost this is cylindrical rotor black is stator red is rotor and uh, for the rotor we are going to supply dc field right dc currents so the moment i supply dc currents field current would flow in this direction because of the field current because of the field current this will become n pole this will become s pole and once i start rotating this rotor in this direction in a simple way in a simple way basically speaking this diagram is also not required but anyway if i am rotating this in this direction n s poles here induced voltages will be there and these induced voltages of three phase if i connect to load are infinite bus whatever it may be okay infinite bus then uh, it will be able to supply currents and the moment stator is carrying some currents stator is carrying some currents because of rotating magnetic field principles and all armature reaction i'm not going to discuss now because it's a lengthy topic okay the moment uh, what do you say stator or stator conductors are carrying currents because of that stator mmf will come stator flux will come and again because of interaction of rotor flux and stator flux because of interaction of rotor flux this is field poles rotor flux and stator flux one resultant flux will come that resultant flux will be kind of let me think of blue that resultant flux will be kind of here this is south pole of the resultant this is north pole of the resultant and if my rotor is rotating in this direction meaning that it also will rotate in the same direction with the same speed those concepts are armature reaction concepts and all time to space space to time and all anyway if you see here in this case if i think of this as a south pole resultant this as a south pole and rotor pole is this rotor north pole rotor north pole this is north pole this is resultant south pole if both are rotating like this there will not be any torque and for example if i keep this rotor field ahead of resultant ahead of resultant ahead of resultant then what will happen this is becoming south pole this is becoming north pole the attraction will be in backward direction the attraction will be in backward direction but beyond the attraction my primary is supposed to keep this at this point okay so my primary is keeping this in this point such that torque will be in backward direction my primary is going to supply or compensate the torque then primary will be able to supply mechanical power okay if something is opposing opposing beyond opposition if you push okay if something is opposing you beyond opposition if you are able to push it what does it mean you are spending some mechanical power okay that mechanical power will be converted into electrical power and that electrical power you can supply to either to the bus or to the load okay simple thing simple thing see here this is s pole this is n pole and n pole is ahead of s pole and both are rotating continuously both are rotating continuously then what will happen this particular n pole s pole torque will be back side torque will be back side against to the direction of rotation but uh, it can come back no no it will not come back because my primary is going to push it in this direction such that both will be rotating and the torque is backward but my primary uh, torque is in the, my primary power supply is in this direction my primary is trying to rotate this in this direction back torque is there beyond opposition the it is getting moved so primary will be able to supply mechanical power that mechanical power will be absorbed by alternator that alternator will be able to supply the electrical power kelkatham now point here is if excitation is lost 
if excitation is lost meaning that see here this is resultant pole this is s pole and this is n pole n pole and both are rotating in this direction in this is my primary input is there back torque is there happily it is stable like this both are rotating for example my prime over input power is there my prime over side input is there and but this is not n pole this is not n pole okay excitation is lost when the excitation is lost then what will happen if i think of when excitation is lost there are two conditions i repeat there are two conditions if i think of excitation is lost meaning that if it is open circuit if it is open circuit then how much is the field current field current is going to be zero if field current is zero these poles are going to disappear poles are going to disappear see here again under stable condition this is yes this is n this is yes this is n the attraction is in this direction but my prime over is keeping some input torque in this direction such that back torque and input torque is exactly compensated equilibrium condition will come and it will be able to supply mechanical power now prime over side input is there but in order to maintain the back torque this is not n pole excitation is lost once excitation is lost pole is going to disappear pole is going to disappear under that condition my what do you say prime over power input is there back torque is not there so it will be accelerated that's it if it is accelerated then what has to be done my over speeding relay will be there in alternator that's what i discussed in my videos also you can see over speeding relay will be there that over speeding relay will recognize it the fault and it will give a signal to the we in order to open circuit everything okay over speeding relay will be there now the moment like uh, if any rotor is uh, rotating at more than synchronous speed it will become induction generator is wrong because in order to produce torque basically there are two basic conditions what are those number of poles of the stator and number of poles of the rotor should be same and stator mmf and rotor mmf should be stationary in space displaced by non-zero space displacement angle ultimately forget about it stator should produce flux electromagnetic torque i'm thinking about uh, not reluctance torque okay electromagnetic torque meaning that stator should produce flux poles and rotor also should produce poles and the interaction of stator poles and rotor poles will give the torque okay and now if for example my prime over is supplying uh, some torque in this direction and back torque is not there because this n pole existence is not there n pole s pole disappeared then it will accelerate in this direction let it accelerate okay my prime over power input is there back torque is not there my prime over power input is there that power input will be stored inside inside the rotor in the moment of inertia of the rotor then rotor speed will be accelerated that said if i think of salient rotor salient rotor it will work as an induction generator that's what we discussed in our videos also okay if i think of salient rotor salient rotor structure will be like this okay if i see stator stator is like this okay then let me have field winding let me have field winding like this this is rotor black is rotor red is stator if i have field current like this field current will flow in this direction such that this will become n pole this will become s pole and remaining everything is going to be same remaining everything is going to be same then in this case in this case what will happen same structure is going to be same this is s pole of the resultant because of both stator mmf and rotor mmf complete combined this is s pole and this is n pole of the pole such that back torque will be there and my prime over will not allow it to go back such that prime over is able to supply mechanical power it will be able to absorb that's it but if this is open circuited if this is open circuited then field current is going to become zero then ns poles are going to disappear ns poles are going to disappear then what will happen it will become like induction generator why damper bars will be there damper bars will be there damper bars in the sense those bars are in both the ends they are short circuit for example if i have three bars here three bars here these three bars at the back end they'll it will be short circuited at the front end here also it will be short circuited like this short circuited rings in induction motor also without having any rotor currents is it possible to uh, generate some power it can be either mechanical power or electrical power mechanical power it will develop as a motor and the electrical power it will develop as a generator 
okay but ultimately in the induction motor rotor should be short circuited if rotor is short circuited then my induction motor will work at less than synchronous speed and if you are able to rotate it at more than synchronous speed then it will become induction generator don't think that whatever the rotor may rotate at more than synchronous speed automatically it will become induction generator is wrong basically in the rotor conductor should be there and in the conductors they should be shorted and then in the shorted uh, what do you say rotor conductors it can be like uh, squirrel cage rotor or phase one rotor whatever it may be ultimately rotor should be closed then only those induced voltage will produce currents in the rotor those currents will produce flux in the rotor such that stator flux and rotor flux will interact each other and it will develop torque okay now if you think of damper bars if you think of damper bars damper bars are short circuited both ends and without damper bar salient rotor will not be there with damper bars uh, cylindrical rotor will not be there okay so if it is salient rotor if excitation is lost if excitation is lost then what will happen rotor will yes rotor will accelerate and it will uh, try to rotate at more than single speed because of the damper bars they it will become induction generator okay if it become induction generator what are the disadvantages and all that's a different story forget about it now for the same cylindrical rotor for the same cylindrical rotor it can become induction generator but it should not be like if equal to zero condition but it should be when it is short circuited when it is short circuited then also excitation is lost under that condition if uh, excitation is lost ns poles are lost okay if excitation is lost ns poles are lost then if it rotate at more than synchronous speed in the rotor circuit it is shorted it is shorted then we can think of it becoming a induction generator okay when if equal to zero it will not become induction generator i repeat when if equal to zero it will be uh, what do you say it the speed will go beyond synchronous speed it will keep on accelerate it will keep on accelerate because primary is giving some power input and from output side it is unable to deliver any power output then input power given will be stored in the name of moment of inertia so it will be accelerated that's it how to protect it from that condition over speeding relay will be there over speeding will relay will take care okay this will not become induction generator if it is field winding is short circuited then it will become induction generator okay let me take some references see here generator loss of excitation production in generator protection coordination okay just a minute yes see here loss of excitation is a very common fault in synchronous machine operating and can be caused by short circuit of the field winding unexpected field breaker open or LOE relay maloperation according to the statistics in China the generator failure due to LOE accounts for 69.5 percent something like that it's a technical paper there they mentioned clearly see here loss of excitation one condition they have taken loss of excitation very common fault in synchronous machine operating and can be caused by short circuit of the field winding okay means alternator when excitation is lost when excitation is lost if it is salient rotor machine it will become induction generator if it is cylindrical rotor machine it will keep on accelerate when if equal to zero but if field winding is short circuited then it will become induction generator okay clarity and anyway if it become induction generator what are the disadvantages either in the short circuit case or in the damper bars case if it is uh, induction generator it will take huge reactive power induction machine reactive power if it take uh, reactive power if system is not ready for that reactive power voltage will be dropped okay bus uh, bus voltages cannot be maintained okay because of bus voltage cannot be maintained some disturbances will happen anyway it's none of our business for time being for time being this is the case okay whatever i said whatever we discussed in videos is right will be right okay thank you very much guys